In today's abandoned video, we showcase footage from a 2019 visit to a stunning abandoned asylum located in Scotland. The building dates back to the early 1800s, containing examples of incredible royal architecture that was rare for psychiatric hospitals alike. It is one of the earliest surviving asylums in the country and one of few remaining in the UK. Join us as we venture inside to take a look at its amazing features. Remember to click subscribe and press the notification bell to never miss a video. In our last video, we asked our viewers what they would like to see from us in 2021. We had many responses but selected this one from Brad, who suggests large industrial sites with kitchens and more dated architecture in various sites. Hopefully we will come across some buildings that offer your desired parts and we will share them later this year. As for this week's question, we are asking do you think it's a shame that asylums like this are demolished with their impressive design despite their dark past, or do you think it's a necessary step to move forward? Be sure to comment your response to possibly feature in our next upload. In the summer of 2019, we had arrived at the expansive hospital grounds in the late afternoon with the hopes of seeing a building of this kind like no other we had seen before. Designed and built in the 1820s, the asylum began with two wings, three storeys each, leading off from a central octagonal tower. These would separate male and female patients for 10 years before additional blocks were made to increase capacity. It utilises the H-plan form, uncommon at the time of its construction in the UK. After totally closing in the first decade of the 21st century, the structure had remained mainly off the radar for most explorers due to a close watch of security from the active replacement, ceiling of the building and sensors inside. However, recently to this visit two years ago, the tight monitoring of the site started to loosen and scrappers made their way inside over time, probably destroying the sensors in the process. We managed to visit just before too much destruction had gone ahead and the building was probably in its prime abandoned state. These are typical asylum scenes with the open doors. In this place, a lot of the rooms are uh, quite empty and there wasn't really much left, but it's still, it's a very big place. So it's gonna be a good explore and there's a lot of nice architecture. It might be worth noting that this video was filmed a long time ago and in our eyes isn't up to the standard we would film today. In most cases, we would choose not to share one of our explorations from this time, but we felt the hospital was too good not to document. These are typical asylum features here, obviously to stop the mentally ill jumping to uh, their death or maybe just injuring themselves. A net on the staircase, you wouldn't really see that in anywhere else apart from an asylum. Already as we progressed from the lower levels of the property, the architecture was improving to the level you would expect in a stately home. For an asylum the decor was unbelievably well kept and it was only going to get better. This alone was worth coming here, wasn't it? This alone was worth coming here for. This amazing atrium is the central hub of the hospital and is surrounded by the reception and main patient wings. With its octagonal layout, huge skylight and ornate fence banisters, it was surreal to see from any angle. Most asylums in the world have a dark past and we can't confirm this one was completely clean, but its methods were definitely more relaxed than others. The aim of spaces like this was to provide a stable, healthy environment for patients allowing light to enter into every room. It's in the empty places where you have to look really carefully to find details of the past. This is quite interesting here. For old names, x-ray, hematology, 
day patient sheets, inpatient sheets, pathology, biochemistry. So this is paperwork or maybe letters uh, that were sent to the asylum. One of the only medical remnants we found was this operating light arm. This small ground floor room would have been the dentistry and was fairly intact. Wow. This is special. Look at the ceiling. On the top floor lied more commodities for inhabitants of the hospital, such as this beautiful ballroom in the nearby library. With accommodation for 80 patients, officials and staff, the asylum had to act independently in its earlier stages, as some patients might have been too unwell to leave its land and would need constant attention. some view you get from here of the new hospital site and just of Scotland in general. From recent images we have seen it appears that the building's condition has worsened dramatically. Seemingly roof slates that have been stolen have caused mass water damage so rooms like the ballroom and the library are swamped and deteriorating in a bad way. Tragically, an architectural masterpiece like this complex can fail to find another use. There could even be a chance if the vandalism and its effects continue, the land that has housed the property for 200 years may be flat and empty once more. This room is another great one, but the first thing I notice is this huge smashed window. I just can't understand why someone would do that. I never can. <sighs> so stupid. It's a nice fireplace. Although we missed one or two features we wouldn't have left without finding nowadays, we are glad we had the chance to showcase the facility for you. With the last train of the day almost arriving, we were forced to exit the historic structure. Consultation has finished and planning permission is under appeal to convert the old asylum into residential use and demolishing some of the fire damaged buildings around it. It needs to happen sooner than later as the longer the building sits and decays the more fragile its dated architecture gets. We hope you enjoyed a concise episode to show the impressive site. If you did feel free to like the video and subscribe to never miss a future upload. Here are some of our photographs captured at the abandoned hospital. If you like the look of them, check out our Instagram page in the description where we post images of our explorers months before they are shared on YouTube. Thanks for watching. It was good to share one of our oldest videos in our backlog with you. Hope you liked it. See you next time.